my call, okay? The information on the voicemail that I got from Florida First didn't even include your name. Just said that, you know, I understand you called Florida First. Here's our number. Call us back. That's all it said. Right. And, I mean, you're, you're, so your advice would be find a different doctor that will write this letter? I don't have any advice for you. But if Dr. Hall is not going to do it, it seem, if it were me, it seems logical. Okay, because, you know, I'm trying to know what the rules are here, um, because obviously... To an, to to do it. Okay, so like I said, I mean, hmm. doctors have rights just like patients have rights, okay? And if it's something that she is not comfortable doing, it she just can't be forced to do it. Right, okay. and and I'm sure that patients have rights. Too. That's why I'm trying to talk to an authority figure, and uh, and I'm just you know trying to further the education of my illness by going to specialists, uh, people who you know have a better chance of finding out what's happening here. Um, and what I'm hearing is that if the doctor is being uncooperative, they have every right to. No, wait a second. I did not say she's being uncooperative. Okay. What I'm saying is she has a right to decline to make a referral that she may or may not feel is appropriate. She's the one responsible for your treatment plan, and if it doesn't include you going to this network, she does not have to do it. You may need to go find a doctor that's willing to follow what you want instead of what they want. Now, uh, now, now try to, I mean, you, you're a patient advocate. so. Try to, try to understand this much, that after 15 years of living with an illness, after 15 years of not having anything progress, after 15 years of only getting worse, living with pain and agony, literally a nightmare of a life, to not even be able to get married or have children, to basically have your life be nothing under the care of these doctors, I have every right to want to get better, don't I? Yes, so you may need to find a provider who agrees with you. Okay, because I'm living with pain and I cannot take it anymore and a doctor that is willingly leaving me in pain when I am telling them, hey, I am hurting here, I need to know more about this illness, and they're telling me, well, I have a right to refuse that. Because, well, I don't know, I don't feel it's right for you. I think you need to go maybe 30 years suffering. I just can't accept that. I can't accept that. That is unacceptable. I understand, George. I understand. Okay? Unfortunately, you're, you're asking me to do something that is not in my power to do. No, I'm just learning the rules. That's all I want to do. I just want to make sure that I have the information right, which is... What I'm trying to do versus what they're within their right to do, meaning that if I'm in pain and hurting and suffering and I just cannot take it anymore and I'm telling them, hey, I mean, you know, if, if I went and was a danger to myself, they would baker at me. If I'm, a, if I'm a threat to myself by just saying, oh, I want to hurt myself, I'd be baker at it. And I'm going to the doctor and telling them I am in pain and have been for 15 years. I need to know more about this, and their answer is, well, I have a right to refuse that because I don't think it's appropriate that you get better. I can't accept that. I didn't, I didn't use any of those words, George, and you told me you just started seeing her on August 26th. So she doesn't have 15 years worth of data. She is trying to work on a treatment plan for you, which is within her right to do so. If you disagree with that treatment plan, then you're within your rights to seek a physician who you can work with to get the things that you want. Now, Cassie, now, I have called Capro on a 
sort of on a, of a very related note here. I've called Capital many times regarding doctors who are doing a very ugly thing by creating a problem such as I don't want to give you this information for X reason and then when I try to fix it they get angry and refuse service and it seems on purpose in order to destroy any attempt for me to try and get better answers, better medications and better treatments. What is your opinion on that? I, I, what it sounds like is that you want the doctor to do a treatment plan that you set up. And no now that is awful because you're basically or they're basically saying or that statement in, implies that I'm a doctor. I am the patient telling them I am in pain. This is hurting. I need better answers. Now, like I said, I've called Capro on a number of occasions. You can see the file where they do a very ugly thing, which is they have a problem. I want to fix the problem because I want to move forward with this investigation. And then they get angry and refuse service. And they've done this many times because I've called Capro many times. It feels on purpose. It's a very easy thing to do. It's like shooting fish in a barrel or rather giving someone a hard time. I'm a patient trying to get better. That should not be happening. I mean, what is your opinion on a number of doctors doing the exact same thing over and over and over again? If you have a number of doctors that all have a treatment plan for you that you disagree with, you need to no, no, we're not talking about a treatment plan. It's not a treatment plan. I'm talking about a pattern of behavior. We've gone through this situation a number of times where they give me a problem, I try to fix it, and then they get angry and refuse service. That cannot continue. That is like they're doing it on purpose. It's the same exact thing over and over again. This can't keep happening. Why is this happening? Well, it just doesn't seem like you're really being very sympathetic to my situation here. There's obviously, okay. It sounds very much like there is an implication where I am trying to do whatever I want with these doctors, when in fact I'm trying to get testing done. That should not be unreasonable on any level. Now, talking about testing with just different doctors should not be an unusual request. Now, these doctors, every time I try to get close to better answers for better treatments and medications, you can't tell me you have to go with the same treatment when that treatment has been there for 15 years and not done anything good for my body. I am dying here. And I would like to have them bakerized, quite frankly, because they're a threat to me with that pattern of behavior. And they've done this just here in Tallahassee, where I've been living for a year and a half. They've done this. This is like the fifth or sixth time that they do the exact same thing. If this was anywhere, if, if this was anything else, anybody would say this is some kind of discrimination. This is so weird. I don't know what they're discriminating against, me getting better, me getting healthier, me, me being happy and having a life. I don't know what it is that it could be discriminated against, but this is what it looks like, and it's weird, and it, ha it cannot be happening. What is going on here? This is crazy. Okay, because, well, I, I don't know. If their intention is to drive me crazy, is to hurt me by constantly making it impossible for me to have any relief in life, it's like they're trying to hurt me. They're trying to kill me. Ooh. I should call the police. I mean, this is insane. This, this doesn't even make any sense.
It's a pattern of behavior. It, they repeat it over and it's a simple formula. Create a problem, I want to fix it so I can get better, then they get angry and refuse service. You can file a complaint against Dr. Hall. With you. Licensing board in Florida. Mm, so now I have to, you, there's nothing that Capro can do as a quality assurance service for Medicare. You're saying, well, looks like you'll have to go to the Board of Health, which is just another problem. Um, I mean, which is a long, lengthy process, by the way. Um, do you also have a right to refuse service? No, you, Capro. Does Capro have a right to refuse service to someone like me? I'm not refusing service. No, I'm just asking. Oh, okay. No, I'm just asking. I'm just asking if that's a right that Capro has. No, you're not a healthcare provider. Well, I mean, the service that you provide as Capro, obviously that's a mistake. It's, it's a mistake. I'm talking about Capro, not a healthcare provider. Okay. I provided that service and I took it as far as I could go. Okay. So you've done everything within your power to try to resolve the situation and uh, all you can tell me is, well, I've done what I can. Um, as, I mean, I'm just verifying for my own peace of mind and understanding that there's nothing unusual about what I'm doing, that I'm within my right to do what I'm doing. And uh, obviously, you know, what I am trying to do is a good thing. As I have gone as far as I can go. If you want a different service and Dr. Hall is not going to provide it, then this is not a good relationship with you. I just wish I had a little more hope you know, with the way that this conversation has gone. I just feel absolutely hopeless. This is a depressing moment right now that I am at the mercy of whatever the doctor wants. They won't let me get better. They won't let me feel less pain. They won't have any medications, all in the name of something that is that makes absolutely no sense because to get medically tested should be the right of everyone, when especially colleges all across the country who are researching illnesses make it relatively easy. So I am absolutely devastated. This is, this is depressing. This is depressing. I don't even know what to think right now. Let me ask you a question. This is hopeless. That is even, I'm just telling you that this, this whole thing is hurting me. That, that is, I mean, I don't know if there's a misunderstanding here, but this is so hopeless and awful that, that these people can just ruin my life in every attempt to get better, to actually save any kind of my life so I can have one. And, and you're telling me that I'm the one doing the hurting? That is absolutely insulting. That is insulting, Kathy. I'm going to ask you one more time. You are insulting me right now. This is unbelievable. Talk about adding insult to injury. Kathy, what are you trying to do to me? Is this, what is this? What is going on? How could someone be so cruel and cold-hearted to suggest something like that when these people are doing the most hideous, egregious, appalling, and offensive thing that I have ever heard of? I have never heard of someone going through a kind of medical experience such as this. This is insulting, hopeless. This is like a spit in the face. Unbelievable. How dare you? I'm required by law to ask. You are insulting me. Is there anything else that you want to tell me? Are, is there any other insult you'd like to tell me? Because I'd like to go now. This is horrible. Can I go, please? I want to go. Okay, thank you very much for insulting me. You have a good day. Goodbye, Kathy. Goodbye. Please hang up this phone.